Hi there viewers, I guess I'm lucky because I finally have a male and a female of the same species. That's right, the two moths that I'm holding in my hand right here are two moths of the same species, even though they look wildly different. They are a male and a female. The bottom one, the orange one, that you can see right here, is the male. And the yellow one up here, the big one, is the female. Now this is called sexual dimorphism and it's common in Saturnidae silk moths. It's common in Lepidoptera in general. And the reason is because is, uh, that they can look so diverse is because males and females have different roles in the biology. Uh, the males are supposed to fly a lot to able to, and uh, are able to locate the females by smell. Uh, females uh, are not supposed to fly a lot, they just wait until a male arrives and, and um, they are filled with hundreds of eggs so that makes them heavy and clumsy uh, females are not that good at flying so this divergence in the sexual roles yeah it's, had may, it's, it's what caused this sexual dimorphism basically because the males have to be more agile, they have to fly greater distances and they don't have to carry hundreds of eggs so females have to more be more inconspicuous to predators if you look at some butterflies like the bird wing butterflies you'll notice that females in most cases are well camouflaged well male, males can have better colors although it's a generalization here's the underside in case you're wondering well I do hope that they will pair tonight because it would be nice to raise the caterpillars thank you for watching and I'm gonna keep all of you up to date